Hello and welcome to the introduction video for Projector Simulator Pro. Uh, Projector Simulator Pro is a Unity asset intended to assist in the design of real-life projection systems. You may already be familiar with our other projection asset called Projector Simulator, uh, which is intended to create nice-looking projected visuals in a game. Uh, you do have to do a lot of manual work to ensure your design is going to be valid for the real world, and there is no way to tell what image quality you're going to end up with. Uh, this is where Projector Simulator Pro comes in. Uh, we've added a lot of functionality specific to real-world projection design, which will make it much easier to design a projection system within Unity. Of course, there are some features still to come, but I'll go over what we can currently do with this initial release of Projector Simulator Pro. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a projector definition. A projector definition is a file which stores all information about a projector, such as its resolution, lenses, brightness, uh, lens shift limits, etc. Uh, we can then use this file later on when designing our system. You'll find the Projector Definer window under Tools, Projector Simulator Pro. Input the data from your selected projector here and save it to a file on your system. You can also edit existing files. Next we want to import our screen model. Your screen should be a single-sided mesh with the normals facing the side of the projectors. Your mesh should also have high to moderate mesh density in order for the analysis mode to give accurate results. Uh, here I have a cylindrical screen with the normals facing inwards for a front projection. You'll notice on the import settings I've ticked Generate Colliders, as a collider is required to inspect individual screen points later on. You also need to add our script Projector Sim Pro screen to the screen object, which will allow us to give the screen a gain value. I'm going to make sure my screen is in a sensible location to make positioning the projectors easier, with its sensor at the world origin. In the next version, we will be adding the ability to generate certain screen shapes procedurally. Next, we want to add our first projector. Drag in the projector prefab and open the projection design tools under Tools, Projector Simulator Pro, Projection Design Tools. Now when we select our projector, you can see it gives us options in the projector tab to edit the projector object. If it's your first time using Projector Simulator Pro in this project, you're probably going to have to tell it where you want to find your projector definition files. So just click this dot 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 button and navigate to the folder you have your definition saved. Now we can select a projector we want from this drop down menu. You can change the resolution if you want. You can even put in a larger value than the native if you want to simulate pixel shifting. Um, I'm going to leave mine at native though. Now we can position the projector how we want, and I can use the lens controls to select a suitable lens and play around with the zoom and shift until I get something that looks good. Uh, now I want to duplicate this projector uh, to keep the same settings, but rotate it around the screen center to have another identical channel next to it. We can use Unity's hierarchy to make this easier. I'll add a new node positioned at the screen center and make it my projector's parent. Then I can duplicate this node and rotate it like so and the projector stays in the same distance from the screen. Now I've got several projectors, I may want to modify them all at once. To do this, all I need to do is select them all. Alternatively, I can put them all under the same root node called projectors and then I just need to select this single object. You can have as many sub-hierarchies as you want in order to organize your projectors. Now we want to add an eye point, so drag in the eye point prefab. I'm going to place mine in the screen center about 1.1 meters up. Now in the eye point tab, we can either jump the camera to the eye point's position or render an equirectangular image of what the eye point can see. Finally, let's analyze the quality of the projection. In the analysis tab, we can drag in our eye point and enable analysis, which will create a heat map on our screen. We can analyze resolution and luminance this way. If I move the eye point or change the projection, the analysis is updated. We can now go back to the eye point and render a new equirectangular image while the analysis is active. Make sure that when you do this, you also save a screenshot of the analysis legend as currently it's not overlaid on the equirectangular image. Finally, whilst analysis is enabled, you can select the screen and hover over it to inspect the analysis value at any point. A collision mesh is required for this. If you need any more detail, the documentation can be downloaded from the Asset Store page, uh, or you can leave a comment below or get in touch via the thread on the Unity forums. That concludes the introduction of Projector Simulator Pro.